Hey everyone, Sephiroth so here, and today I'm going to show you the basics of Easy Paint Tool Sai. I will talk about how to create a canvas, the basic layout, selection, layers, and some very handy shortcuts, which will get you started with Paint Tool Sai. So let's start with creating a canvas. Go to File, New, and this window pops up. Here you can create your canvas. I can create a whole video talking about creating a canvas, but I'll keep it short. The most important thing is to make your canvas big enough with a high resolution. The more pixels and the higher the resolution is, the bigger the file will be. So keep in mind if you want to create a web-only drawing or a drawing you eventually would like to print. I usually make all my art based on the fact that I want to print them out. So I always pay attention while creating a canvas and use at least a resolution of 300. So let's continue. When you have created your canvas, this is your start screen. Paint Sai has a nice color picker which lets you pick every color you want. Under there you have the brushes and I will show you some basic brushes and how they look like, such as the pen tool, the airbrush, the brush tool, and the water blending tool. Next up I will show you the transform tool. With this tool you can select the layer and move it around, scale it and rotate it. For an even scaling, hold down shift. Brush size and the amazing stabilizer. The stabilizer of Paint to Sign makes your lines look smooth. Zero for no stabilizing at all and S7 in this case is the most stabilized option. Play around with which one you like best. Now for an easy shortcut to make your brush size increase or decrease, use the brackets of your keyboard and this is like the best shortcut ever because you can just very easily make the brush bigger or smaller. Layers in Paint Tool Sai. You can create a new layer, a vector layer, and you can create groups. The blue color means that you are on the selected layer. You can also delete layers by clicking on the trash can. By creating a group, a new window pops up and you can name your group. Naming and organizing your layers is very important in digital art. Also try to use less layers because that will help you stay organized. And you can simply drag layers into a group. It's super simple. Flipping and rotating your canvas. You can very easily flip your canvas by clicking on the flipping button in the top menu. Flipping your canvas will often help you see mistakes in your drawings because you will see it from a different point of view. Hold down Alt plus space and you can rotate your canvas. Click on the square in the top menu to bring your rotation back to zero. Layer Opacity Changing the opacity is super helpful and I will show you how it works right now. Opacity means how much percent of the layer is visible. 100% is fully visible and 0% you won't see the layer. So lower the opacity a bit so you can create your line art layer on top of that sketch layer. One of the best features of digital art. I will now create a line art for the rest of the tutorial and hold down space to move around your canvas and Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus for zooming in and out. Do you see me using all sorts of shortcuts? Well, Ctrl Z is undo. So if you made a mistake, simply press Ctrl Z and your last step will be undone. Ctrl Z is your best friend in digital art. You will probably abuse those buttons when you get the hang of it. Selection time. Most people use the magic wand tool to select their objects. You can also draw 
a selection by hand with the selection tool in the brushes area. Most people start clicking everything in the object because you want the object to be a complete selection. Well, try and do it the other way. Select everything but the character and simply go to selection, invert and boom! See how much time that saves? You can now color in your object. The next feature I will show you is locking layers. Simply click on the layer you want to lock and tick the box Preserve Opacity. Now your layer is locked. What does that mean? Well, you can go over your layer with all the brushes and all the colors you want and it will only go over that layer. So only on the skin tone I just colored in in the previous step. Ain't that a great feature? You can also use this to color your line art. Simply lock the line art layer and color your line art. And the final step of this video is saving your canvas. I know, we also need to do that. Go to File, Save As and specify a name. You have all sorts of saving options such as PSD, which is a Photoshop file, JPEG and PNG, etc. Pick the one you like best and keep the original compression and scale and simply click save and you are done. So these were some very, very, very basics of Easy Paint Toolsai and I really hope you liked this video and if you want another Paint Toolsai tutorial video just let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time everyone. Bye bye!